Adobe Creative Cloud for Teams is an easy way to manage your licenses and apps. Let's take a look at how to get started. Whether you purchase through a reseller, an Adobe call center, or adobe.com, you have access to the Adobe Admin Console, a handy dashboard that lets you manage your licenses, deploy your apps, and find help and support. Log in to adobe.com using your Adobe ID or email address. You might see some other identity options like Enterprise ID, but they're not relevant for Creative Cloud for Teams. Click Manage Teams to see your license. This is a great page to bookmark for future use. If this is your first time logging in and you join through the Adobe VIP program, you won't see any license listed. You can call your account manager to add them, or you can simply click on Add Licenses. Remember that you still need to contact your account manager to have your order placed. Now you're ready to assign your licenses. Just click the Assign User link to add a name and email address, and write a personal invitation if you wish. You can also assign a license to yourself if you need access to the software. If you want to assign multiple team members at one time, click the Assign Users button. Then upload the user's information in a text file or a comma-separated file, also known as a CSV. Just make sure that the email addresses in your file are comma or tab delimited. If you want, you can also just paste an email address right here to send an invitation. You can see the status of each license on the left. The Active Users tab shows you the team members who have already accepted their invites and are ready to use their software. The Pending Users tab shows members who still need to accept their licenses. You can click to resend the invites in case they miss them. Now let's see how to deploy software. With Creative Cloud for Teams, either you or your team members can install software. Let's first look at how users can do it themselves if they're set up as administrators on their own machines. The invitations you sent earlier will direct users to the product download page. Here they can click on Download to install the Creative Cloud app, followed by the selected software. If they already have the Creative Cloud app, they'll just see an option to install their software. They can also log into the Creative Cloud app directly to launch their software. What's great about this deployment method is that it gives everyone the flexibility to install what they need, when they need it, and it cuts down on the workload for IT. But admins can also choose to use the Creative Cloud Packager to better control which apps are installed and whether to automatically install upgrades. Creative Cloud Packager creates a native installer package that can be deployed by all major third-party tools, like SCCM and Casper. You can watch the video in the Deployment tab to find out more about using Packager. Then you can download Packager and create a package of apps for users to copy to their machines. When they launch the package, it will install the apps. Want more admins to help you manage licenses? Add them right in the Admin Console. These secondary admins will have the same rights as you to add licenses, create packages, and manage users. It's a good idea to have at least one secondary admin in case you move or leave the company. You can also reassign licenses at any time. Just select the active license, remove the current user, and add a new user. And you can always add new licenses as your team grows. Last but not least, there's a team of experts available to help you whenever you need it. Sign up for a live webinar to see how to get up and running. Call or click to chat with customer support any time of the day or night. Or schedule a 30-minute one-on-one expert services session to help you make the most of your All Apps plan. Creative Cloud for Teams gives you a secure and simple way to manage your licenses while empowering your people to create great work.